I invite you deeply to have this conversation with the people who pay you. What would be possible if HR's role was primarily about optimizing people? primarily about elevating all the money that they have thought about spending or have spent on learning and development. What if that was yours to create an environment for people to thrive? And then 20% because AI will help you enforce the rules. That's the gift of AI. It will take away your sweeper level work if you embrace it. So consider that you're operating a human system and with human beings, we're all wired the same way. I have led programs all over the world. I have clients all over the world. It doesn't matter if you're Indian, if you're Italian, if you're Arabian, it doesn't, we're all the same. We're wired the same way. And context is decisive. So my eyes are looking out at the world and it looks like if you're standing next to me, is it Heather? To stand next to me, it looks like Heather and I are both seeing that camera together. But I'm looking at the camera going, how do I look? Are you going to get a good shot of me? And she's looking at the camera going, I don't want to be on camera. So we're all coming at the world and at work and at life from our background, from our first job, whether we had a good experience or not. If we've ever had a good experience, how many times have you called someone and said, I need to see you? And they panicked because you don't know their context for HR. And one of the things I invite you to consider is it's not positive. As a nomenclature, HR is considered, I'm in trouble. Even if you call a vice president, what did I do wrong? Because you're not calling them to say, wow, you're just such a great manager. I'd like to do an appreciative interview with you. But what if we could shift the context?